Hello, this is uh, Tony. Um, I want to talk about this uh, FM comprehensive RF signal generator radio tester. Um, I bought this in uh, Banggood, as you can see. The price was a bit lower, it was like $130. Um, but I found out in the end it was a waste of money. Um, but I was able to use it for something else. Um, I tried to contact uh, customer service because I blew the thing immediately um, while we settled for, for some sort of refund but in, in the end uh, I would not advise you uh, to buy this. Uh, I was lucky enough to find uh, this machine which is the Makahomi which is absolutely fabulous. Um, but back to the machine. Um, what, what I noticed in the back of the machine, you can see, you need to connect uh, 12 volts. And, but that has turned out to be the maximum that you can do because I blew immediately the circuits. I'm not sure if you can see, but here is uh, the voltage regulator, which actually regulates to 5 volts. So it's not 12, of course you need a bit more than your regulator, but 12 is a bit much and also because some of the circuits are directly connected to the power and not going through the regulator which means as you can see here I blew the, the circuit so and also because I already had the, the Marconi I decided to uh, make something else of this machine and when you open it let me try to do that just a second ah. mm. You can see there is actually uh, 64 watts dummy load and they created some sort of uh, DC output which is nice. So what I did, I just used this as an attenuator for my scope and for the frequency counter and it's actually quite nice because um, you don't want to blow up your, your scope and uh, the, the DC voltage meter is just one also just from China just a little three wire thing um, I believe you can also just uh, at the uh, at the yellow and the, and the red wire together and then if, if, if as long as you measure more than than three volts it will just switch off now uh, on and off but uh, I'm measuring below that so I'm actually connecting the red wire separately to the 12 volts and I use the yellow to measure my signal so what I do if I power it on of course you measure zero and well um, I can connect my probe to this this output that usually went directly into the RF circuit so that means there is a nice uh, attenuator. I connect this to my frequency counter and I just have here an old uh, CB so when I transmit as you can see to the thing and now I will plug it into the detonator like this and what I did I just made a little oops, I made a little table and if I transmit now you see it's 1.27 volts which uh, equals about uh, 4 watts and now I just added my probe directly into the frequency counter and I can do it safely without uh, blowing it up and I can also just connect it to my brand new scope And there it is, 
I'm not afraid to blow it up. And it measures the frequency. So that's about it. What you can do with the device <laughs> when you just blow it. Uh, I hope it helps and please don't buy this because yeah it's crap. That's it for now. I hope to see you later.